The objective is to use addition and subtraction to solve multi-step word problems involving length, mass, and capacity. The directions state to solve, model the problems using a tape diagram, and to answer with a statement. Here we have the first problem. Let's go ahead and read it together. Jose's vase can hold up to 2,419 milliliters of water. He poured 1 liter 299 milliliters of water into the empty vase. Then he added 398 milliliters. How much more water will the vase hold? This is your homework book, and this is your lesson to help you with that homework tonight. How much more water will the vase hold? Let's go ahead and write a focused answer for that. The vase will hold blank. Liters, blank, milliliters, more water. I'll help you draw a tape diagram. And remember, it also does say to solve. So it says the vase can hold up to 2,419 milliliters of water. So that is a known. So when he starts, he starts by pouring 1 liter, 299 milliliters of water. So this is the first pour. And Jose's first pour, he pours in 1 liter, 299 milliliters of water. Then he adds, he adds how much? He adds 398 milliliters of water. What we need to know is how much more the vase will hold. So this is how much more, where we have a bar that we don't know how much more it is. <clears throat> and altogether, there's 2,419 milliliters. What we'll need to do is to figure out how much water that he has added in to begin with. We could convert and rename 1 liter 299 milliliters to 1,299 milliliters, and in which case we would do what with the 398? Did you say add? After we get that total amount, we will subtract it from the 2,419 milliliters to get how much more water that vase will hold. I actually think that this bar here would actually be a little long if I'm solving that correctly in my head. Work through it, make sure to solve it. Here is the second problem says Eric biked one kilometer, 125 meters on Monday. So let's write and let's make a bar and a tape diagram for the amount that he biked on Monday. It is a known. One kilometer, 125 meters. On Tuesday, it says that he biked 375 meters less than on Monday. So let's make a bar for Tuesday is the bar longer or shorter than Monday's? Right, it's shorter, and it's shorter by how much? It says 375 meters. The question that's asked is how far did he bike both days? Oh, so how far did he bike on both Monday and Tuesday? That's what we are trying to solve for. What we don't know is the amount that he biked on Tuesday, but we do know that it is 375 meters less than what he biked on Monday. 
So on Monday, we're taking 1 kilometer, 125 meters, and subtracting 375 meters from that. What we can do is that we can rename the 1 kilometer, 125 meters, into meters. That would be 1,125 meters minus 375 meters, and this will give us the answer for Tuesday. After we get our answer for Tuesday, then what would we do? I'll write it in there. Make sure that you have like units to be able to add, and make sure when you figure out the amount that they biked for both those days, and Eric biked for both those days, make sure to express it in kilometers and meters. Make sure to write that statement out. Here's the question for number three. Please take a moment to read it. Here is the tape diagram that I came up with. We know, and that's a known, that Zachary is 37 kilograms, 95 grams. Remember that the conversion is one kilogram equaling 1,000 grams, and that you should have like units as you're working through this problem. The second clue does say Gabe weighs 4,650 grams less than Zachary. That's why this bar here for Gabe is shorter than Zachary's. It is shorter than Zachary's and less than Zachary's by 4,650 grams. So that will be the first thing that you solve for. Next, after you're done with that, it says Harry weighs 2,905 grams less than Gabe. That's why Harry's bar is less than Gabe's bar, and it's less than Gabe's bar by that 2,905 grams. What I suggest that you do is I suggest that you rename 37 kilograms to 37 thousand grams and put it together with the 95 grams to get 37,095 grams for Zachary's weight and then you solve it from there. When you're expressing your answer at the end for the amount that Harry weighs, please express it in kilograms and grams. So you will have to rename again. Here we have question four set up. Where we had a Springer Spaniel weighing 20 kilograms, 490 grams. That's why that Springer Spaniel is written right there. That is a known. A Cocker Spaniel weighs 7,590 grams less than a Springer Spaniel. So the Cocker Spaniel there is 7,590 less than the Springer Spaniel. Now a Newfoundland weighs 52 kilograms, 656 grams more than a Cocker Spaniel. That's why we have the Newfoundland with the weight of the Cocker Spaniel, which you will figure out first, put together with 52 kilograms, 656 grams. So first we will take this number here of 20 kilograms, 490 grams. We'll rename it as grams and subtract 7,590 grams from it. Remember, if we rename it, that would be 20,490 grams minus the 7,590 grams to get the weight of the Cocker Spaniel in grams. 
Once we get that, we will add it to the 52 kilograms, 656 grams to get the weight of the Newfoundland. And then finally, after we do that, we can compare the weight difference within grams of the Newfoundland and the Springer Spaniel. So you will be subtracting. You'll subtract for the value that you have for the Newfoundland minus the weight of the Springer Spaniel, the 20 kilograms, 490 grams, to get that weight difference. We'll give you some time tomorrow to cross compare numbers 5 and 6, so do your best work for numbers 5 and 6. Work those two problems on your own.